Hey, good evening, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with the evening webcast. Um, just wanted to do a quick one uh, tonight as we head Monday into Tuesday. Uh, daily chart, you can see 2174 was the limit down from last night. We're green tonight, about 2.3%. You got back and forth regarding whether they're going to be able to, uh, to, you know, stimulus, what's it going to entail, House bill, Senate bill. Something in between, you know, is is, is the reality. Um, we have done. Uh, we've done as high as twenty two ninety, uh, maybe about ten minutes ago. Twenty two sixty is going to be key tonight. Uh, let me bring over a five minute chart for you guys. So tucked over here on the left side of the screen, this is a five minute chart. Uh, same five minute chart we use in the room. You can see there's a few things coming together here at twenty two sixty. Uh, we've got a long out right now against that 60 area. Looks like it wants to come back in. We took some profits up here. It wants to come back in and stop us out. We've got our proprietary moving average coming up into this dotted line here, uh, this, this dotted horizontal line, which represents a daily pivot. The yellow line is volume weighted average price. The blue line is your five minute middle Bollinger Band. So a whole lot going on here at 2260. Uh, Functionally, it's a bull bear line. You want to be long above, you want to be short below. We'll see what the tests look like. If they can convert that, then your next stop really is 2237 down here. This red line is your hourly mid band. So that's a quick look at the five. Let's go to the hourly chart right now. So that 2237 we're talking about, that's right here. That's the blue line. You can see it's trying to hold that as support. You can see they shot it up to the weekly pivot today. Um, uh, early on the basically the Fed saying, well, free money forever. I mean, that's basically what they said. So whether whether you like that, whether you don't like it, the tape took it to weekly pivot, it is what it is. They did what they've done so many times with the Fed news, which is they brought it back in. Now, it held here. It didn't challenge or break that Globex low of 2174, and they're kind of grinding it on up. But what we have seen is we've seen typical bear market activity, violent spikes that are rejected, and they've rejected in the course of, you know, 24 hours following to lower lows. If that plays out again, then what you're going to see here is you're going to see some kind of a lower high versus this pop up to 2386 that's going to then subsequently break 2174 and, you know, below that, um, you know, 2150 is a key area. Uh, 2137 is key. I don't want to, I, I don't, I, I have had a pet peeve for years about people throwing out targets way above or way below the tape because they want to come back later and say, well, remember I told you that's, that, that's bullshit. It's just bullshit. Worry about the 10 handles in front of you and the 10 handles after that will take care of itself. And that's why what we do in the room is so much more effective you don't have an ideology. This is not time for ideology. There's a lot of people out there that think we should go to zero. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, that don't want it to go down any farther. We don't get to decide what it does. We trade what's in front of us. We respect price. We respect risk. We take care of the 10 in front of us. And then the next 10 come from that. So, you know, for us, this 2260 right now is important. Overall, if you're a bull, you want the blue line to hold. You need to take this out. You need to do what we talked about this morning. Now you've got the nine day sitting in at, you know, 84. Now it's 87. 87 to 92. You need to get above weekly pivot and stay there. The rules for this week are the same rules that there are for any other week. The weekly pivot is the best delineator of short to intermediate term tape control there is unquestionable last three to five years you want to know who's winning the week look at the weekly pivot hasn't always been that way but it has been in recent times in the market um, and the reason the bulls were able to do all the damage that they did over the years was that very early in the week they would establish the weekly pivot as support and as you stretch into wednesday thursday they would end up with directional thursdays and fridays because they had taken care of business early in the week with respect to winning the battle over the weekly pivot. Now, the converse is true. So, 
Tested it this morning, couldn't get over the top. You make a lower high here and you continue to not be able to get over the top. Well then as you get into the rest of the week, as you get into Thursday and Friday, you were left Friday with the question, well, who the hell wants to be long over the weekend with all this, you know, all this stuff going on? The answer is nobody, which is, the, which is why we went down to 2260 last Friday. So if you're sitting here Friday, um, who wants to be long this weekend? Not me. Do you? Nope. Okay. Down we go. So unless the bulls can get on top of this area and build up into the 2400s, most likely, as you get into the end of the week, everybody's going to look around and go, yeah, I'm not going to be long the virus over the weekend. I'm all set. And you'll see some weakness. The difference is going to come, and the reason I like doing these evening ones is they can be a little longer. Not that I haven't probably bored the hell out of all of you by now anyway. But I think the, the most constructive thing the tape can do right now, let's go back to the daily chart. Let me get rid of this five. Let's go back to the daily. The most constructive thing the tape can do right now is to carve out some kind of a, just a big old triangle, 300, 400 handles wide. And don't think we don't have the volatility to pull that off. That's exactly what we've been doing. It's just been kind of directional to the downside. Um, three or four, you know, three or four hundred handle, handle triangle. So good days and bad days, good days and bad days, good moments, bad moments, as we sort through all this stuff. That's what the bulls need. They need some price discovery back and forth for a period of time. What the bears need to do is to hold things like the nine day as resistance the nine days resistance and just continue to make these lower lows. I mean, we, you know, the nine day we had talked back late last year and the nine day had been such solid support for the tape for so many months. Well, now you can see when it turns, you know, when it turns the other way, works the other way as well. So if, if the bulls can't get over the top of the nine day and that coincides, remember with, the weekly pivot if you can't get over the top of this area well then you might have a run here but that run is probably going to end in tears so we'll watch that out but for now for tonight into tomorrow keep your eye out 2260 bull bear line uh, we're trading 84s right now so the longs that we have going right now against 60 are looking pretty good okay everybody have a great night be safe out there. All the best to you. All the best to your families. Take care. Trade them well. Market webcast in the morning. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.